Okay, I'm gonna stay on for a minute and help Courtney. She's got her knees hurting her a little bit, so I'm gonna show her some foam rolling. So if you guys wanna stick around, you can, but you don't have to. You need to get going on your day. Thanks, Teresa. Good job. Thanks, everybody. Good See you guys, good job. See you later. See ya. See ya. Getting shredded. <laughs> you know it. All right. So um, tell me where the pain is in your knee. Um, I don't know. Is it like, like right behind the kneecap? What? Is it like right behind your kneecap? Yeah, like lower. Okay. So what happens is when, um, so that your patella back behind your kneecap is what helps your knee track, your kneecap track correctly when you bend your knees, right? But sometimes our IT bands, inner thigh, quads, calves, whatever, can get tight. And what happens then is when you bend your knee, the, the kneecap is not tracking correctly. So it's like moving to the right or to the left or whatever. So then you get pain behind your kneecap. So people are always like, oh, no, they're like afraid that their tendon is torn or whatever. When re in reality, it's probably more just, especially since you've been running more. Yeah. Um, I, my thought is that it's more about your, your, we're going to start with IT band cause that's pretty common with running. Okay. So let's see. Okay. So, and we'll be able to tell pretty quickly if, if it is IT band cause this is going to hurt. <laughs> if it hurts then that's a good sign. Um, okay, so what you got to do is you're going to start, we want to start at the top of the IT band I, and go all the way to the bottom. You're going to stack your hips on your, uh, your foam roller right under your hip bone. Can you see with the glare behind? Kind of. I could flip around. Yeah, you might want to. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna stay right there. We're gonna go nice and slow. So try not to let yourself shift to the back or the front. You're gonna stay right on that IT band. If this is too much pressure, you can cross that front leg here to relieve some of the pressure. And we're going to roll all the way down. Oh, yeah. Paying attention to where it's tight, where it hurts, all the way down right above the kneecap. Ran into my TV, I have to scoot down. <laughs> Once you've gotten to the end, you're gonna do the same thing going back. So like for me, right here is where I feel the pain. So be paying attention to where along that line you're feeling that pain. Stay right on that IT band. Oh my gosh, Al. I need to do this one. <laughs> my jet feels excruciating pain all the way down. You do? Well, there was a few spots that hurt like worse, like right here. Yeah. So, so it's good when you find those spots. Though. Yeah. So once you've done that, pass through back and forth a couple times. Yeah. Then you're gonna find that spot where it really hurts and you're gonna stay on it. Uh, for me, it's about right here. Right there. Yeah. My <laughs> <laughs> favorite. It is really painful. <laughs> I want my mommy. <laughs> So I'll kind of rock back and forth a little bit just to kind of, and then for me, I can tell that when I roll over onto my quad, that's super painful too. So I'm going to do the same thing, trying to stay on that spot that really is tender. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't even pull myself up. My arms hurt too much. <laughs> my shoulders. This is quite the day. Yeah, that. 
Oh my gosh. I really got to do this more. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh. So, whatever you do to one leg, you need to do to the other, even if it's not really hurting you, because we want to make sure that they're both loose. Side. And we're going through this fast. If I were not on Zoom with you, I would spend a little bit extra time. That's how we spend five or so minutes on each leg. Maybe. So again, start at the top of your hip, right under your hip bone. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one that's dying here. <laughs> Oh my. Kimberly, have you been doing this for your hip at all? Yeah, and I actually lay across the handle of a kettlebell right in my hip flexor. On your hip flexor? Yeah, because I tore the piriformis and the glute knee, so it tightens right in there. So like, Gosh, this is so bad. I need to do oh. this. Like, commit to, our, to each other that we'll do this every day. Seriously. Have like a little accountability group. Oh, <laughs> oh. I think I'll need this. This is too painful. I won't do it unless we do. <laughs> no, we do need to. I'm in. Oh, yeah. They're crying. I don't know what they just crying. Regan's at trauma. Well, next part that I would focus on is your calf. So we want to we want to focus on whatever is attaching to the knee. So this calf muscle our IT band. So for calves, I like to stack my feet or my legs just to give a little bit more pressure. And then I get tight in the front right here because most of the time I'm trail running and a lot of stabilizing. So this muscle, I, I don't know names of muscles, sorry. So that's usually where I start. I kind of roll to the side. I start at the top and I'll kind of rock back and forth there and then I go all the way down. And then the other place I get really tight is like right above the Achilles. Do you have any tight spots in your calves, Courtney? Yeah. Especially from all the jumping. Like today, even if you, we had a lot of jumping today. So spending two to three minutes after your workout, just doing your calves. I cannot believe how bad this hurts. <laughs> I know. I have um, this roller that looks like, I brought it in here before. I don't know if you've seen it, but it looks like little roller blade wheels. So it's like that uh -huh. plastic and it sits on a cradle and I have, there's two, there's one that are like big, like rollerblade wheels. And then there's one that's like smaller and the smaller one feels so good. Like on the bottom of your feet, your calf, yeah. and because it's hard, you don't have to put as much pressure. You don't have to like hold your body up in order to get the mm -hmm. That's nice. I love that thing. I have a giant PVC pipe that I'll roll out on. 
Yeah, that we have one of those too. It never gets used because <laughs> it's too painful. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you one more. Um, all right, so you're gonna you're actually going to roll the front of your calf. So you're gonna put your knees on this, on the foam roller, and then keeping your here, I'll show you the side view. So you're just standing like this. And then you can kind of lean to one side to get more side of the calf. Bad. I like that one. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, okay. So let's commit to doing that every day. If you can do it twice a day, that'd be ideal. You'll get a lot. You'll your knee will start feeling better a lot quicker. Um, but for sure, on the days that you run. Okay. And let's see if we can get after or before. Um, I would, I don't know, I feel like my runs always go better when I spend some time before stretching or rolling, I feel like I run a lot better. Yeah. I'd probably do both if you can. So yeah, I'd probably foam roll for a few minutes before you run and then stretch after the run. Oh, okay. Another thing that helps on the run that might help your knee too is a higher cadence when you run. So a lot of I was listening to something on this the other day. A lot of people will run each foot will hit like 85 to 90 times, 85 to 87, like in that area is kind of the norm. And they were thinking that we should be hitting 95 to 96 times per. Yeah, like but how would minute. you know that? Yeah. yeah, you can get a, a tempo um, app like you use for a piano and you just crank it up to the number and every time you hear that your foot should a hit metronome? a metronome there. <laughs> I think it's called, I think it's called tempo though, it's like oh, four it's an app. yeah, so I'm gonna, that's my, my next thing I'm going to be working on is trying to hit that higher cadence when I run. So. I don't understand. Right. So you run like you're trying to hit the ground more times or yeah, less so times? Your yeah. stride is shorter. So oh, okay. people stretch out their stride and you want the exact opposite. You want shorter. Oh. So if you watch the pros, a lot of the really high level pros, they're faster turnover. So when you run, Courtney, you want your foot to land right under you, not out in front of you. Okay. If it's landing out in front of you, most likely your heel striking. So that means your weight, your body weight is coming into your heel instead of your midfoot. And what okay. happens is you'll, a lot of people will get shin splints. They'll complain of shin splints. Okay. Yeah. Because your weight is going through your heel and it puts a lot of pressure on the front of your leg as opposed to the back. So when you run, your foot should be right underneath you which means your body should lean slightly forward. So you're not hinging at the hips, but more hinging at your whole body. So like if you were going to start your run, you should lean forward like if you were going to fall forward. So that should be your run. So anytime I start to run, or every time I'm running and I start to feel tired, I focus on my lean. So I start to lean forward slightly, which puts me in a better position and I can run faster with less energy. Nice. Hey. 
next time you're at the track, we could practice it. I think that's the most forgiving place to track to practice it. Just because it's yeah, I'm not going tomorrow. So yeah, wait, you are going tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, so tomorrow's workout is a 30-minute run. It starts with a 30-minute run, and then it has some sprints. So oh, okay. nice about that is because you're on a track, you can really focus on that form. The mm -hmm. whole time you're just right in the – we're not really looking for, like, a fast run. It's just more like a moderate-paced run. Mm -hmm. So um, that would be a really good time to focus on form. And you could even ask Andrew to, like, video you as you run by. And he can he can see. In fact, I'll I'll text him right now. I'll have him go over basically what I just told you. He can work that into the drills. Okay. Warm up drills. That'd be awesome. Cool. Cool. Hey, hey are you guys gonna be at the gym for a while? Uh -huh. Just wanting to come get one of the the aids. I've got to run by there to pick up my baby anyway. Yeah. Is that oh, we here. Is that cool. Yep. Okay. Hey. Thanks, guys. See ya. See ya.